Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 23 of C programming on the Mac. In this tutorial, I'm going to be covering the size of types in C. And what that basically means is, what's the maximum number that each type can hold in C? So is it possible for a character to hold a value of 500? Is it possible for an integer to hold that value? Um, basically, that's what we're going to be learning in this tutorial. So as you can see, I just made a little demo program here. I created a character, just called it my character, and i trying to give it a, a value of 500. And then here, I'm, uh, I use percent %d so that I print out the value or the number value of my character so that I don't print out the character. Like if I use percent %c, that would print out the character. That's why I'm using percent %d so I can print out the number value of my character. So anyway, um, I try to build and run this, and as you can see, I get this problem. Um, it's an overflow, and basically that means that the number is too large for the character. The character can't actually hold a value of 500, and we're going to learn exactly what a character can hold right now. So um, I made another amazing picture, and I'm sure you guys are sick of these pictures by now, but anyway, um, deal with it. This is, um, don't get too overwhelmed by what you see here. Basically on the side, um, we just have bytes, um, which you guys probably all have heard of gigabytes, megabytes, kilobytes, and bytes is just one step lower, I believe, on the scale of bytes. And um, so all we're really going to focus on is this first byte here. Um, all you have to really worry about right now are the bits. And as you can see, I pointed this one, uh, this first byte, and it, this is equal to a character. A character is one byte in memory, and that's that represents the length of a character. That's th that's how you're going to determine the number that a character can hold. So on to bits here. Each bit holds either an on or off position. So the zero bit has an on and off. The first bit has an on and off, and all these on and offs. Um, that means that the possibilities that we can have of bits being on and off, are uh, they grow exponentially. And so 0 bit would have 1 or one or 0 on and off, and um, the first bit would have an on and off position as well. So um, basically that means that we could have four combos between these two bits right here. We'd have on, on, off, off, on, off, off, on. That's four possibilities. As we add more bits, that number grows exponentially. So to calculate the, the maximum number that we can hold in a type, we just take, um, let's use a calculator here, we take the 2, since that is um, the, to the total possibilities, we have two possibilities, and we um, that's just the exponent, uh, and we're going to put 2 to the 8th power. And we're using the 8th power because we have 8 total bits in one byte. So 2 to the 8th equals 256. And that is the total um, value or total number of values that we can have in a character. And what it what it ends up doing is it means it can be from negative 128 to 127. Those are the total values that we can have in a character. And that and I hope you understand why that is because 256 total values. If you include negatives, then that. It's 256 total numbers, but since we include negatives, it goes from 128 to 127, including the zero. That's why um, that's why there's this as the maximum number of values. So, if we want to do a quick calculation on uh, the maximum v value, we can just do two to the power of one less than we just calculated. So, since we use eight bits, we go two to the seventh. And we calculate that, 128, that's the lowest possible number. So a negative 128 would be your negative number, and then your positive number would be 127. So let's jump right into the program here, and we're going to put in a negative 127. Oops, not, sorry, negative 128. And um, let's build and run this. And as you can see in our console, we easily get negative 128. So let's now try a negative um, 129 in this slot. Let's try to build and run this. And as you can see, we get that overflow error because again, a character can only hold from negative 128 to 127. 
So now let's use our positive numbers. Like I said before, 127 was the maximum positive number. So if I build and run this, I get 127. And then let's try to put in an extra byte. And this is where things get a little uh, different, but we'll see what happens. So build and run this. And since I said 127 was the maximum, when I go to 128, it goes back down to the lowest number that's a negative. So um, this still it still means that our total number, since I said before, 2 to the 8th power, since a character holds 8 bits in total, our total, no our total number values are 0 to 255, which is 256 different values. So if I put in 255, that'll, that'll mean that it's a negative 1, since what happens is, as soon as it hits the maximum positive number, it goes back down to the lowest negative, and then it climbs back up again. But again, it can only hold a maximum of 256 values. So um, I build and run this, and as you can see, I get a negative, oops, negative 1 for our answer. And as soon as I try to put in 256 in this, it will no longer work because, um, well, it's, sorry, let me build and run this. And as you can see, um, it looks like it works in the console, but it's really not doing what it's supposed to. And as you can see, we get an overflow error when we try to build and run this. So um, that's my example of um, basically how you find the size of any type. Now, a character only holds one byte, but what if we wanted to calculate the size of an integer? Now, I'm just going to tell you now that an integer has a size of four bytes. It has four bytes of memory. Um, that's what an integer holds. And I'll show you in a later tutorial how to find what each um, what each type holds, but for this tutorial I'm just trying to explain to you how uh, the sizes actually work. So if a character has four bytes, that means it's eight times four. So eight times four is 32, and that means we take two to the power of 32, and that will give us this value of, uh, that's four million or four billion or something. I don't know, it's a big number. Four billion. Yeah, it's four. Yeah, you know, just read that number. And basically, that's the total number of values that we can have in an integer. And since they're negative numbers, it comes out to be two to the 31st. And that's the, if we have, that's negative, that's the maximum number range on both sides. And then positive is just one less. But hopefully you understand what I'm saying by that. So the maximum uh, number of values that an integer can hold is that. So that's how you calculate the total number of values for given different types. Um, if you have any questions, um, I will be covering this a little more in some later tutorials. I know it's um, sometimes confusing. But anyway, um, if you have any questions, please leave your questions in the comments or send me a message. And also, um, if you have any suggestions for the uh, channel, please leave them uh, under the channel moderator thing that I have set up. And you can easily submit your uh, suggestion to me. Alright, thanks for watching.